Trump is about that commitment with a sweetheart. It's sonnet number 1051. Heavenly ecstatic happiness, being with someone you really truly love. Fabulous short story writer, Guy de Maupassant, 1850 to 1893, that's the date of his life. He was 42 when he died. Guy de Maupassant, good writer, marvelous master. He was a really good writer of over 300 short stories. Stories so true. The happiness he wrote about. A short story, a short story about this beautiful, beautiful French girl, Suzanne de Sirmont, rich lady, privileged lady, noble lady, glamorous Suzanne, privileged, high-class French nobility. She was falling head over heels, madly in love with a French hussar. That was one of Napoleon's cavalry officers. They really had beautiful uniforms and beautiful horses, and she was so madly in love with him. She was totally possessed by obsessive love, the passionate ardor she felt for this beautiful, beautiful, handsome French hussar. She was dizzy with love. She was carried away by magnificent fevers of true love. The freedom of total commitment to one man, her hero, her French hussar. Two soulmates together, she and he, they were blessed from above. To be bitten by Cupid, to have Cupid shoot that arrow into your heart, smitten through and through, arrows to two hearts. It is said, you can be happy with thousands of ladies. You ladies can be happy with thousands of gentlemen. But there's only one soulmate. Lovely Suzanne de Sermont, she gave up all her money, all her riches, all high station in her life, and she did depart. She ran off seeing heaven in her hussar's eyes. Paradise with him was her chosen fate. She'd rather be with him. The Dao Da Ching, the Chinese Dao Da Ching, says you can be satisfied with little, and if you are satisfied with little, you are indeed rich, and they had each other. How hot fires of love. You have that, you have no need for material things. You're bewitched. Bewitched by goodness by happiness, by intimate raptures, fabulous, enriched beyond all measure by love, love sent by God, love boundless. They lived together for 50 years together in this short story, this true story on the Ile de Corsica, devoted lovers to each other, becoming old together, intertwined together, romantic angels, sweet Suzanne de Sirma, she never had a single regret running away for love. They had each other, trading Eden right here on earth. Real love, true love, living a paradise of love. Millions of kisses, the warmest of close embraces, true romance, destined for happiness all at 50 years. Two lovers, such a blissful dance, enthralled with each other, Never, never, ever getting tired of each other. Calling each other sweetheart, my sweetheart, my honey bunch, whispering sweet nothings. There's a song by Brenda Lee, Sweet Nothings, and I think that's great. Whisper sweet nothings in the ears of your sweetheart. It's better, and a lot of poets have said this, it's better to have loved and lost they never have tasted the ambrosia, that fabulous, that rapture of ambrosia. Bliss awaits all of us. It's waiting for us. It's expecting us. It's romantic karma. There truly is someone for everybody. There is a soulmate out there waiting for you. Love is everything. The morning and the evening star, magnificent. Angels above envy our fantastic intimacies, private, private life, by heaven sent. You must be ready for true love. You must be deemed to be worthy. You have to be worthy of a lady's love, of a gentleman's love. True heaven waits for all of us. True ecstasy for you and for me. Be deserving. 
be faithful, be a gentleman. That means you're righteous, be righteous. And a lady, righteous as well. That lady, Suzanne de Sirma, hey, her love wasn't just a fantasy. I've known people that have had great marriages in 50 years, 60 years together and adore each other and you see them holding hands and that's sent by God. They found their soulmate and we can all have that and it doesn't mean you have to be rich, which can, you can still be in heaven. And that's what this sonnet is about. Heavenly ecstatic happiness. You don't have to be rich to have each other. If you have each other, kings don't have it that good. They think they do, I guess when they had slaves. But it's different now. You have to find your soulmate. You have to find true love. And that's what this sonnet's about. Heavenly ecstatic happiness that I wish for you. Sensei, John Wayne Mercure, I wish that for you. And this sonnet here, you guys out there, find your soulmate. It's worth it. There's nothing more wonderful than a beautiful lady. Nothing. Nothing. And you got to find yours. She's out there. She's waiting. She's smiling. She's a lady. Okay? She's righteous. And I'm going to close now and say, hey, thank you for listening to this. Because this is what I th really think is happiness. If you can find a, a person you really, truly love, you're already in heaven. But you got to be worthy. Je t'aime, qui vous aime. Love yourself first and love those who love you. Got to love yourself first because until you love yourself, you can't help anybody else. And love those who love you. Voltaire said that and I think it's wonderful. Au revoir. Dieu gardez-vous pour toujours. Je Allah pour vous.